The Pearl of Great Price, Abraham 2. Abraham leaves Ur to go to Canaan. Jehovah appears to him at Haran. All gospel blessings are promised to his seed and through his seed to all. He goes to Canaan and on to Egypt. Now the Lord God caused the famine to wax sore in the land of Ur, insomuch that Haran my brother died, but Terah my father yet lived in the land of Ur of the Chaldees. And it came to pass that I, Abraham, took Sarai to wife, and Nahor my brother took Milcah to wife, who was the daughter of Haran. Now the Lord had said unto me, Abraham, get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. Therefore I left the land of Ur, of the Chaldees, to go into the land of Canaan, and I took Lot, my brother's son, and his wife, and Sarai, my wife, and also my father followed after me, unto the land which we denominated Haran. And the famine abated, and my father tarried in Haran and dwelt there, as there were many flocks in Haran, and my father turned again unto his idolatry. Therefore he continued in Haran. But I, Abraham, and Lot, my brother's son, prayed unto the Lord, and the Lord appeared unto me and said unto me, Arise, and take Lot with thee, for I have purposed to take thee out of Haran, and to make of thee a minister to bear my name in a strange land, which I will give unto thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession, when they hearken to my voice. For I am the Lord thy God, I dwell in heaven, the earth is my footstool, I stretch my hand over the sea, and it obeys my voice, I cause the wind and the fire to be my chariot, I say to the mountains, Depart hence, and behold, they are taken away by a whirlwind in an instant suddenly. My name is Jehovah, and I know the end from the beginning. Therefore my hand shall be over thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee above measure. And make thy name great among all nations, and thou shalt be a blessing unto thy seed after thee, that in their hands they shall bear this ministry, and the priesthood unto all nations. And I will bless them through thy name. For as many as receive this gospel shall be called after thy name, and shall be accounted thy seed, and shall rise up and bless thee as their father. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee, and in thee that is in thy priesthood, and in thy seed that is thy priesthood. For I give unto thee a promise, that this right shall continue in thee, and in thy seed after thee, that is to say, the literal seed, or the seed of the body, shall all the families of the earth be blessed, even with the blessings of the gospel, which are the blessings of salvation, even of life eternal. Now, after the Lord had withdrawn from speaking to me, and withdrawn his face from me, I said in my heart, Thy servant has sought thee earnestly, now I have found thee. Thou didst send thine angel to deliver me from the gods of Elkanah, and I will do well, and I will do well to hearken unto thy voice. Therefore, let thy servant rise up and depart in peace. So I, Abraham, departed as the Lord had said unto me, and Lot with me. And I, Abraham, was sixty and two years old when I departed out of Haran. And I took Sarai, whom I took to wife when I was in Ur and Chaldea, and Lot my brother's son, and all our substance that we had gathered, and the souls that we had won in Haran, and came forth in the way to the land of Canaan, and dwelt in tents as we came in our way. Therefore, eternity was our covering, and our rock, and our salvation, as we journeyed from Haran by the way of Jershon to come to the land of Canaan. Now I, Abraham, built an altar in the land of Jershon, and made an offering unto the Lord, and prayed that the famine might be turned away from my father's house, that they might not perish. And then we passed from Jershon through the land unto the place of of Sechem. It was situated in the plains of Morah, and we had already come into the borders of the land of the Canaanites. And I offered sacrifice there in the plains of Morah, and called on the Lord devoutly, because we had already come into the land of this idolatrous nation. And the Lord appeared unto me in answer to my prayers, and said unto me, Unto the seed will I give this land. And I, Abraham, arose from the place of the altar, which I had built unto the Lord, and removed from thence unto a mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched my tent there, Bethel on the west, and high on the east. And there I built another altar unto the Lord, and called again upon the name of the Lord. And I, Abraham, journeyed, going on still towards the south. 
and there was a continuation of a famine in the land. And I, Abraham, concluded to go down into Egypt to sojourn there, for the, for the famine became very grievous. And it came to pass, when I was come near to enter into Egypt, the Lord said unto me, Behold, Sarai thy wife is a very fair woman to look upon. Therefore it shall come to pass, when the Egyptians shall see her, they will say, She is his wife, and they will kill you, but they will save her alive. Therefore see that you do on this wise. Let her say unto the Egyptians, She is thy sister, and thy soul shall live. And it came to pass that I, Abraham, told Sarai my wife all that the Lord had said unto me. Therefore saith unto them, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for thy sake, and my soul shall live because of thee. Chapter 3 Abraham learns about the sun, moon, and stars by the means of the Urim and Thummim. The Lord reveals to him the eternal nature of spirits. He learns of pre-earth life, foreordination, the creation, the choosing of a redeemer, and the second estate of man. And I, Abraham, had the Urim and Thummim, which the Lord my God had given unto me in Ur of the Chaldees. And I saw the stars, that they were very great, and that one of them was nearest unto the throne of God, and there were many great ones which were near unto it. And the Lord said unto me, These are the governing ones. And the name of the great one is Kolob, because it is near unto me. For I am the Lord thy God. I have set this one to govern all those which belong to the same order as thou upon which thou standest. And the Lord said unto me, By the Urim and Thummim, that Kolob was after the manner of the Lord, according to its times and seasons and the revolutions thereof, that one revolution was a day unto the Lord after his manner of reckoning, it being one thousand years according to the time whereon thou standest. This is the reckoning of the Lord's time, according to the reckoning of Kolob. And the Lord said unto me, The planet which is the lesser light, lesser than the light, lesser than that which is to rule the day, even the night, is above or greater than that upon which thou standest in the point of reckoning, for it moveth in order more slow. This is an order, because it standeth above the earth upon which thou standest. Therefore, the reckoning of its time is not so many as to its number of days and of months and of years. And the Lord said unto me, Now, Abraham, these two facts exist. Behold, thine eyes see it. It is given unto thee to know the times of reckoning, and the set time, yea, the set time of the earth upon which thou standest, and the set time of the greater light which is set is to set the rule, to rule the day, and the set time of the lesser light, which is to set the rule, the night. Now the set time of the lesser light is a longer time, as to its reckoning, than the reckoning of the time of the earth upon which thou standest. And where these two facts exist, there shall be another fact above them, that is, there shall be another planet, whose reckoning of time shall be longer still, and thus there shall be the reckoning of the time of one planet above another, until thou come nigh unto Kolob, which Kolob is after the reckoning of the Lord's time, which Kolob is set nigh unto the throne of God, to govern all those planets which belong to the same order as that upon which thou standest. And it is given unto thee to know the set time of all the stars that are set to give light, until thou come near unto the throne of God. Thus I, Abraham, talked with the Lord face to face, as one man talketh with another, and he told me of the works which his hands had made. And he said unto me, My son, my son. And his hands were stretched out. Behold, I will show you all these. And he put his hand upon mine eyes. And I saw those things which his hands had made, which were many. And they multiplied before mine eyes, and I could not see the end thereof. And he said unto me, This is Shinaha, which is the sun. And he said unto me, Kokob, which is star. And he said unto me, Olea, which is the moon. And he said unto me, Kokiabam, which signifies stars, or all the great lights, which were in the firmament of heaven. And it was in the night time when the Lord spake these words unto me, I will multiply thee, and thy seed after thee, like unto these. And if thou canst count the number of sands, so shall be the number of thy seeds. And the Lord said unto me, Abraham, I show these things unto thee, before ye go into Egypt, that ye may declare all these words, if two things exist, and there be one above the other, they shall be, there shall be greater things above them. Therefore, Kolob is the greatest of all the Kokobim, 
that thou hast seen, because it is nearest unto me. Now, if there be two things, one above the other, and the moon be above the earth, then it may be that a planet or a star may exist above it, and there is nothing that the Lord thy God shall take in his heart to do, but what he will do it. How be it, that he made the greater star, as also, if there be two spirits, and one shall be more intelligent than the other, yet these two spirits, notwithstanding one is more intelligent than the other, have no beginning. They existed before, they, has, they shall have no end. They shall exist after, for they are nolam, or eternal. And the Lord said unto me, These two facts do exist, that there are two spirits, one being more intelligent than the other. There shall be another, more intelligent than they. I am the Lord thy God. I am more intelligent than they all. The Lord thy God sent his angel to deliver thee from the hands of the priest of Elkanah. I dwell in the midst of them all. I now, therefore, have come down unto thee to declare unto thee the works which my hands have made, wherein my wisdom excelleth them all. For I rule in the heavens above, and in the earth beneath, and in all wisdom and prudence, over all the intelligences thine eyes have seen from the beginning. I came down in the midst, I came down in the beginning, in the midst of all the intelligences thou hast seen. Now the Lord had shown unto me, Abraham, the intelligences that they were organized before the world was, and among all these there were many of the noble and great ones. And God saw these souls, that they were good, and he stood in the midst of them and said, These I will make my rulers, for he stood among those that were spirits, and he saw that they were good. And he said unto me, Abraham, thou art one of them, thou wast chosen before thou wast born. And there stood one among them that was likened to God, and he said unto those who were with him, We will go down, for there is space there, and we will take of these materials, and we will make an earth whereon these may dwell. And we will prove them herewith, to see if they will do all things whatsoever the Lord their God shall command them. And they who keep their first estate shall be added upon, and they who keep not their first estate shall not have glory in the same kingdom with those who keep their first estate, and they who keep their second estate shall have glory added upon their heads for ever and ever. And the Lord said, Whom shall I send? And one answered like unto the Son of Man, Here am I, send me. And another answered and said, Here am I, send me. And the Lord said, I will send the first. And the second was angry, and kept not his first estate. And at that day, Many followed after him.